Hello and welcome back to the United States of America, where we are helping Russia fight against Byzantium. So, when uh, Russia got annoyed by uh, Scandinavia locking off the eastern part of Russia, they decided to expand into Byzantium instead. And we're going to help them by sending 230 ships with 52,000 men. Right over to the Black Sea, where they apparently don't need help, but we can help them anyway. Maybe we will even get something out of it. I doubt it, but who knows. Lose some admin power. Actually, let's uh, have the troops get off before we do anything. And we want fleet basing rights, rights from Russia. So let's see here. There our ships are. Let's get off. Let's let the troops get off. Well, actually, has Russia already wiped their army? Total. No, they haven't. So it's lurking somewhere. There's a stack. Perhaps we will be able to intercept that stack. Maybe. There is a possibility. Ah, here we have something. Right. Uh, you get over here. We are suffering heavy attrition as well, but... Right, so this battle... We might win, we might lose. We are suffering attrition, but our fleet is not destroyed yet. Let's try to defeat this noble foe and make them retreat across the can canal here, so... Yes, we're winning. Yes, we won. That means we block off the canal. And we get some stability. Excellent. And they are destroyed. Now we need to repair these ships. Quickly, actually. Let's get over to Russia. Suffering a fuck ton of attrition. Ah! I hope we get get over there in time. Oh! They are blocking us. Well, I think we don't suffer attrition when fighting, so this might work. We we'll lose a ton of ships. Wait, the coast of Oregon? Molly! What are you doing here, Molly? But uh, it's old models of ships that are dying anyway, so. Should actually be fun. Right, we lost a few ships, loads of them actually. Um, let's see here. Let's start rebuilding them immediately. Can I see how many ships I have? Uh, 55 large, 66 light. We need more transports and yeah. And then we can mix it up. By the way... Alright, you're going for it. Let us build more merchantmen. Yeah, let's build three. Four. Three. Quite a few. Uh, let's start building war galleons. Two in each. And the rest can build frigates. Yeah, let's build four in each. Or three. That's, that's probably enough. Might build uh, over the force limits here, but that is actually fine, because then I can scrap some of the old ships. Our Grand Navy was uh, outdated before it even faced real battle. Though it did cross all of this. So I have to say it's still a commendable effort. Um, yeah, let's uh, try to siege as 
much as we can here. Maybe we can snag some of this for our own devious purposes in a separate piece. Go to Napoli. Abruzzi. Ancona. Firenze. You go to Pisa. Split you in half there actually. Hmm, not enough. We'll then go to Firenze. Should be enough. Right. What I want to do, if possible, is snag Sicily. We could use it as a base to attack Byzantium further. Um, do we have the unjustified demands idea? No. Or do we? No, we don't. Okay, it's... It's the last one. Alright, Illinois, self-sustaining. Time for Iowa. Excellent. And Byzantium is being absolutely decimated. Now we combine forces here. Siege quicker. Might be, um... Oh! 200 settlers arrived here. Nice. Uh, it might be, um... A fact that Russia will be able to make a, a peace before we um, make a separate one. But that, that's fine as well. We build up trust with Russia. And they will join us in wars against Byzantium. I hope. Who knows, to be honest. Fleet repaired yet? No. Yes, actually. That means we can go here and speed up the sieges by having naval blockades. Split you in half. You in half go there, you in half here. Taking 1% attrition. Not that bad, to be honest. And here we go, another idea, diplomatic relations, absolutely useless, because we haven't filled up the ones we already had. Now we have even more. We have military access with Asturias that I have never um, dismissed. Ooh, 50 Byzantine ships, that means we need to rush it before it reaches us. Wait, Klingit? What was that? Molly <laughs> sieging shit. Wow, that's random. Well, let them, to be honest. I don't think we'll lose this war. Right, we managed to take that. Where is the Byzantine fleet? Has it disappeared? No. Must be here somewhere. There it is. Hiding, rah. That's uh, cowardly. Come out here and fight. 7%. That's lots of attrition. Let's go somewhere where we don't have as much. Dastardly at attrition to handle. Perhaps we'll take the boot of Italy. If we can. Right, here we don't suffer anything. That is nice. And we shouldn't stop building military stuff. Just because we are slightly preoccupied by a war, we have so much money. Insane. And we have very much money, to be honest. We should probably build... ...something. There's only one of them, that, or two of them, that costs... ...admin power. We can spend admin power. That is fine with me. Spending all that cash. Good enough. Right. Napoli is ours. Now the question is, could we do a separate piece? 
Okay, they wouldn't. Wouldn't accept. Full annexation. Well. Uh, treaties. Not an American vassal. And we can't demand their uh, protectorate. That's odd. I thought we could demand protectorates in pieces. Calabria, finally ours. Go here. Belize and Vinland. Yes, improve the relations. Can we take anything? No. Interesting. Wonder why they are not willing to give anything up. Alright. This should help speed things up by standing here. Significantly even. Just having one single province here would be nice. It's one single province, like Calabria. Or Napoli. Wouldn't give me anything, right? Not even a hundred ducats. That is overconfident, I tell you. When you're losing this badly. Right, maybe they are not the final boss. Maybe that is Russia. But Russia is Buddhist, and thus they are one of us. Damn. So they seeded lots of stuff. Silistria Kaffa, op Optimatoi, Tarnovo, and Burgas. Give Korkach to Rashtakutas, uh, Kathiavar to Shairatids, uh, Sh Shariarids. Give Kor Cairo to Mubarakids, Kor Berber to Mubarakids, uh, Surat to Rashtakutas, uh, Kor Dongola to Mubarakids, Jabal Shamar to Mubarakids, Karbala Mubarakids, Iraq Iarab Mubarakids, Byzantium would give Naid, uh, Araka, Sidon, Release Tuscany, Verona, Pisa, and Genoa, Pay Ducats. Fine. So, that cut them down to size, I have to say. <laughs> Badly, even. So, the Mubarakids are looking much healthier now. And uh, Byzantium still kept these. Odd. Odd that this one doesn't have a core of something because it's Rajput. I understand this one because it's Greek, but... Interestingly enough, the Sha Shariarids got this little province. Well, I'm uh, I'm satisfied with this. Releasing Genoa and uh, Tuscany. Verona. Verona is a big one. Protestants. No one converted to uh, Orthodoxy. Let's see. We can't get everyone on the boat, unfortunately. <laughs> Right, let's get the boys home in due time. So, are we over our force limits? No, we are not. We can build uh, three more war galleons. Let's make sure we get all of them. Get to Pamlico. And then they can sail across the sea grab the last of our boys. Uh, let's get him over there. So it builds a bit quicker. Nice. Where's our fleet? Here it is. Suffering loads of attrition, I hope. Oh, they will never be able to make it over. We need uh, military access from France. Or Fleet basing rights. Scheisse. Portugal, maybe? Holy crap, how did they make it over? Anyone? <laughs> Fleet basing rights. Uh, maybe if we give them a slight gift. Hope that the 
these chips don't die. No, they wouldn't. Poitor, then. Hmm. Well, Scandinavia will. I know that for sure. If we can get up here, that would be nice. Not sure that we'll be able to, though. When is our diplomat home? Oh. 80 days? Let's uh, call this guy home. He doesn't need to be here. Not that he will get home any quicker, but... Come on, we need access. Ah! I will never be able to do this. Lost some ships. Right, it's time to start building things again. Um, maybe we'll be able to save a few of them. Nope, they were lost them. Alright, so we have learned a valuable lesson. Time to start replacing everything, including uh, the military men that drowned. First off, we need more diplomats to be ready at any one time. And we need access before we go to war. Right, so... Well, this is... Well, it's, it's kind of a good thing anyway, because we need uh, better ships. So let's start by building a ton of heavy ships. You're already building some, we can continue, and you all will build merchantmen, five each. And you can build frigates, five each. This might be too many, but I don't care. It's all going to work out in the end. And then we start building some new infantry. <laughs> replacing the ones we lost. We can actually build them from the right provinces this time. So, how many can we build? Uh, about 50. We need more cash. At least we have a ton of cash to build with. See, increased aristocracy. Cavalry cost minus 10. <laughs> well, that's actually interesting because I'm going to build cavalry right now. Let's build some Cossacks now when they are sheep. There we go, and now we need some cannons. Excellent. Iowa became... Uh, City? Hey. Or did it? No, maybe not. But we do have a, a free colonist. Maybe it was this one. Yeah, Omaha. I mixed them up. And this should uh, be... Re this all should be replaced in absolutely no time. And now we have two uh, diplomats free. We had one camping out in Holland or in the Netherlands forever. Don't need him to do that. Alright, Vinland is actually expanding. We need to lock them out immediately. Alright, so ships are being built and troops are being trained. Yes, looking good. Let's build some more.
Um, are we building swivel cannons? Let's build some more of those. One. Get all the ships to uh, Chesapeake, all the ones that are currently built at least, just to see where we're at. Eighteen strong right now. Fifty naval units in production. We can build so many more. Right, we need more frigates. Let's just increase this by a random amount. Six, seven, something of that. Something along those lines. And um, more merchantmen. So many ships. War galleons. Yes, more war galleons. Right. Let's get this all built. Keep a close eye on the force limits here. Nine land units in production. Yes, we will exceed our land force limits, but we do have the money for it. Naval units are being completed by the dozens, thanks to our enormous boat industry. Let's get the, these troops over to Chesapeake. Let's keep. And we can go for War Cabinet. Did we gain any War Exhaustion from this? Where do I see that? Oh, it, it is right here. Right. No, we didn't. That is good. And the boats are rolling in. Or well, floating in, I suppose. And we should probably take the frigates have them uh, patrol trade immediately. Then again, I'm not sure. I, I think there was a button for it, but I might have detached blockade. Protect trade. Well, I guess they could all protect trade. Wouldn't be that bad because I don't want to click like a billion times. Uh, next unit, no, previous unit. Right, let's build more ships. Iowa became self-sustaining. Uh, Vinland. Don't want to have you here. Let's try to... Uh, nice this one. Okay, so we have no one there. That means this troop will have to go up Chippewa. Good harvest. Thank you. We can build even more ships. Well, we have uh, more than enough in production already. Over the force limits by far. Excellent. Excellent. That one. We go up here. Actually, didn't know that Scandinavia would colonize here. As they didn't do it before, so I, I just slacked off uh, blocking them off. Get over here, all of you. Once again, have the greatest army in the world, or navy. Not army. Greatest navy in the world. Is not a complete lie. Santium, losing wars, I see. Winning. Okay. Who has started that war? It is. Crusade against the Mubarakids. Right. They're taking back what they were forced to give away. Admin power, thank you.
Yeah, loads of naval units being built. We should probably start building the um, naval bases, but I do want the counter-revolution causes belly. Uh, let's see how close we are. We are halfway. So in the next episode, we will have the counter-revolution causes belly. And I'll see you then. Thank you for watching.